Okay, Uncivilized Vitality, and this is a quick video on the uh, walking stick. It's going to go along with the packing list videos for the nocturnal hike and the emergency camp packing list videos, which uh, will probably appear as if by magic at the end of the video if Rendell can do that cool uh, video card thing. So uh, let's talk about the nocturnal hike. The other video went over um, all the safety equipment. The three things that are going to be different on the uh, nocturnal hike as, of, as opposed to just a standard hike are going to be uh, the requirement for glow sticks. You're going to need a glow stick for each night. Uh, so at least two and an extra. So three glow sticks so we can keep track of each other. And you're going to need to wear some kind of glasses, either your prescription eyewear or uh, safety glasses at night so we'd run into any pirate makers. The third piece of kit is going to be a walking stick. We're going to use this uh, on the trail, especially at night, to keep our balance a little better uh, in the dark because balance, especially on uh, rocky or uneven trails um, next to a drop into a river, for instance, where we're probably going to go, it's a little easier to keep your balance in the dark if you have a third point of reference beside your two feet by using this stick. You can also use this to test the ground in front of us. There's lots of things you can do with the walking stick. That's actually one of the purposes of the nocturnal hike is to talk about this other piece of gear uh, that we would call the yard stick. So here's the here's the basic requirements, and I'll show you a few. This is a this is a carved walking stick, old uh, Captain I rot here. But this one's almost this is at the very limit. I'm going to suggest you bring a walking stick that is between three and five feet in length, and it does help to know. Uh, if you don't have a measurement built in, like some of these I'll show you, to know the precise length of uh, your stick, which is why we call it a yard stick as opposed to a walking stick. Uh, yard coming from um, an old word that would mean the earth or the ground. Yard stick. Um, one of our first tools that we used to measure or uh, standardize distances and dimensions. So the yardstick is one of the the uh, additional tools, <laughs> family oops, uh, families of tools that we don't talk about in uncivilized vitality as far as field craft. But there are other families of tools that we use: uh, the yardstick, uh, dice and games, uh, flute and drum, uh, beads and and uh, currency, that sort of thing. We'll talk about those uh, maybe in another video or uh, pretty soon in volume two. You can read about the other uh, non field craft tools. So you're going to want a walking stick. You can just you can cut and carve your own stick, okay? uh, make a fancy little face on that. You can get just a shorter uh, piece of wood. This is my one of my sparring swords from uh, Shinkendo training. It's just made of uh, Chinese wax wood. But in a pinch, this could work as my walking stick. All right? Just uh, moving along there, I could take the collapsible walking stick from a set of, I think these came from a set of snowshoes I have or some cross country skis. And these have the ability to uh, twist and extend a little bit so you can kind of, and they got little gradations on there, so you can tell how far you want that so you can fit that to the distance you want. It's got this little handle. Uh, this designed to fit in your hand, supposed to be comfortable, and a little wrist strap so you can retain your walking stick uh, while you're moving around. You can take that little basket off on the end, and it's got that sharp carbide tip to grip the ground. And a lot of walking sticks come with interchangeable ends, um, uh, little feet they're called, and other things you can use depending on the terrain you're in. We're going to suggest that you bring just one walking stick. You do want the top to be kind of smooth around, and it is nice to have an ability to uh, hold on to your walking stick. People use these in different ways, the little wrist lanyard. You can uh, hook that around your thumb and the back of your hand to hold your stick. You can put your fingers through to grip. Lots of ways we'll talk about that. Besides just the telescoping, um, ski pole or snowshoe pole, there's the same sort of thing here. Instead of twisting, this one has opens up and then clamps down when I get it to the, the length we want. And this is a walking staff. It's got a kind of a padded loop for your wrist. It's got a cork handle that's got this nice round top. So there's different ways you can hold on to the stick as we're moving along. Having a walking stick that collapses down is one benefit over uh, a wooden one. 
in that it's easier to get to a point where we're not using a walking stick. I can put that in my pack or fit that in my car. They have walking sticks that are sort of foldable, right? So they have this cable set in there. Pull those apart. Right? So we can put that walking stick together and then we get it the length we want. We can clamp down, right? That's another nice walking stick. It's got the cork handle, got some neoprene handle, real nice. Uh, I like this one. This is from Trekology, walking stick from Trekology. This kind, kind of combines, there's that foot's a little different, not the spike. This combines the stability of uh, a wooden pole because it's, it's very durable once it's clamped into place, right? Like a wooden stick that won't collapse or give way. It's got the nice rounded handle, but I can also clamp, take that clamp apart. Oops, pull that thing out of there. I can take that clamp apart and collapse this back down so that it fits in my pack for those times I'm not using it, right? So it folds back up, goes back into my pack, right? The times I'm not using it. So the collapsible ones have their have their benefits because they're easier to carry along. If you don't have a fancy walking pole yet, you can make do around the house with a just a stick or one you cut and carve yourself. Um, I probably am going to hike with just this. This is just a wooden cane. It's a little over three feet. Uh, the handle, the hook gives me uh, an easy way to hold that. I can reach in front. I can use the hook uh, to grab things overhead, maybe to pull myself up the hill. Uh, I can use the cane for a lot of different things. It's not as compact as a folding walking stick, but it will um, hold on the back of my, my backpack. I can just hook, use the crook and hook that up over my shoulder for a minute while I'm hands-free. Um, it's lightweight, it's very sturdy. It's got this nice rounded top. Those are, uh, the, the ends of the stick are important because on the hike, we're gonna show you how to use these in lieu of a tree to set up some shelters when we bed down for the, the morning. You might be able to look around and find a, a cane style with the hook on the end and the collapsible features of the collapsible walking sticks. This one kind of turns, screws into place, locks down so I can extend that the different heights I want. Now I've got a little bit higher of a cane. I've got some this one's got a little spring to it, so it's a little forgiving on the ground. I've got the wrist strap. I've got that hook. Once again, I can reach, maybe use that to pull myself up. I wouldn't put a lot of pressure through that, but this cane style is a, it's a nice walking stick. We've got a few in the UV storeroom for those on the nocturnal hike that don't have a stick yet or don't um, have any access to a makeshift stick or a pole that you can cut, or maybe you can borrow uh, someone's cane. Either way, you're going to need a walking stick that's between three and five feet in length. Helps to know the precise length. And something with a smooth or rounded top. Uh, the wrist strap, with or without, you could always just take your uh, uncivilized the little pocket loop and uh, clove hitch that to your stick uh, so you can hold on to it and you don't lose it down the hill or in the river. And bring your walking stick to the nocturnal hike. Try out one of those different versions uh, that we showed here, or uh, if you use a different type of walking stick um, or yard stick for your shelter. Sometimes people use two when they're hiking. Um, we talk about that at the nocturnal hike. But uh, leave some leave some comments below about the type of walking stick you have. If you have anything different here, or a brand, a particular brand you recommend uh, or enjoy using, and make sure you have a yard stick for the nocturnal hike coming up this fall. Uh, 2024 and uh, I think that's it for this one